Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. Today we are going to talk about how is it possible that we enter a an, an name yeah, and get connected to the correct server, to the correct host. We said, yeah, okay, a host, a host in the internet has an IP address. I'm not entering IP addresses, I'm entering a URL. Yeah. How is this working? And therefore, it is required that we have a domain name system. That's DNS, it's called. Yeah? Today, I'm briefly, briefly explain how DNS is working. Uh, well, let's say we want to, to access data, yeah? let's say, at a certain URL. So, we're entering in our browser, for instance, de. Wikipedia.org. This is what we enter. Right? Because we want to find out how domain name system is working. <laughs> For instance. And what we do not enter, but what is always part of the, of the fully qualified, this is domain name. Right? This is called domain name, this thing here. Right? What we do not enter, but what is always part of the domain name, is a dot at the end. Yeah. Not entered, but always there. This is a typical example of a domain name. Yeah. It is grouped, always separated by dots. Yeah? This at the end here, this here, the last thing with dot, this is called top level domain. Yeah? This is the so called top level domain. And then I can select whatever I like. Okay. There are only there are only these, these things here. I just these are domain names. Always separated in dots. You can think about this as a leaf structure. So you have one trunk of a tree, and then you get into to smaller, 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 and then you end at the leaf. Huh? That's domain name. Huh? How it is organized. There are rules for it, of course. Yeah? Each name. Minimum one byte, maximum 63 bytes. So you cannot just use Donut Dunchy Falls Gesellschaft Kapitäns Ringmantel Abzeichen Gewinn Gebühr Katalogzettel Abschnittsnummer as one name. You have to shorten those things. Yeah. Each name. One byte, maximum and all names. including dots, maximum 255 bytes. The names. And how do we get now? Now we know that our name is looking like, I mean, it was not bad. Big of surprise, hopefully, maybe this, this, this last dot, which will never, we will never see, but yeah, okay, let's accept this. Uh, how is now this 
mapped to an IP address. Well, that is the domain name name server. It's called yeah mapping. is done by name server. That what the name server is for. The, the name server. Let's let's have a look at a typical typical request. Okay? Typical request. Let's say we are calling this URL here, uh, typical request, uh, computer, looks in host file, which is located on the computer, if the name is mapped there. Huh? Yes. Call IP address. We're done. Okay. So if the if the computer already knows what is behind this name, which IP address is behind this name, you will immediately call the IP address. No. Done. Huh? Then here, check done. Ready. Huh? Next step. Next step. If not, ask configured name server for IP address. Ask configure name server for IP address. Uh, if IP address is known, by this local name server, because somebody else called it or and he and then and the, and the server remembered. Yeah? Get the IP address and call it. Okay, so the server will hand over the IP address. We're done. Check. Yeah. What if the server does not know the IP address of this name? Yeah? Next. Ask the root name server. There are 13 root name servers uh, in the internet and they know whom to ask. Yeah? So they, we ask now the root name server and this Checks the top level domain, DLD, this one. The top level domain. And handing over a name server. Dealing with this top level domain. Okay. Now we know, aha, uh -huh, we are an org. For in this case, we are an org. So we ask the org name server. Uh, next step. Uh, I can top level domain. Formulate it in a common way. Uh, name server. Uh, 
will identify the name server in this case of wikipedia.org uh, no, it's okay, wikipedia.org, that's this name server. Yeah. Of the next name. Okay. And finally, we are then there that we do have next step. Yeah. Get IP address. Then we're done again. So it's a hierarchical approach. Okay, so this, this is not one big domain server, but a name server. Uh, the local name servers, they will cache things and so on. Uh, they will cache things. Uh, each, since it is possible that uh, uh, names or IP addresses behind names are changing, they will have a time to live and and uh, they will delete entries and then these things are happening. Of course, there are more techniques inside. Right now, it looks like somebody is entering uh, some URLs at the name server with the proper IP address. Yeah, yeah it was that way. Yeah, but then, of course, it was not sufficient. You cannot, there, there was then dynamic dynamic uh, IP address space allocation with DHCP and so on. So this means one host has not always the same IP address, but different. This will change in IP version 6, we talked about this, but in IP version 4 this was an issue. And then there were extensions to this domain name system, which proved to be very flexible and working, uh, working pretty well. And then was a dynamic DNS, it's called, yeah. This has also some, yeah, then once this rerouting, then somebody says, okay, if you want to call the wikipedia.org, yeah, I will spoof or I will get in my own IP address and then we'll all come to me and they think they are on uh, Wikipedia and then we will enter the data and I will go fishing there. <laughs> yeah, this, this is how it works, yeah, with extensions, how those datas in the name servers are generated somehow automatic, then there are uh, authoritative name servers and non-authoritative. I will not explain this in detail because I think that's beyond our scope as mechanical engineers. Yeah. We should know how this domain, domain name system is working uh, and that there are name servers behind and they have hierarchical structure and there is no no real central point of, of knowledge somewhere. Like I said, the root name servers, they are uh, 13. Spread it. Uh, also not 13 explicit machines. There are much more machines, but they are acting. It's also not that easy. However, this is how it's working. Domain name system. And since in my experience once level three is working in a network so level we talked about level three protocol internet protocol is level three protocol then the upper layers are usually working as well once a packet can information can be passed through a network from a to b then the upper layers are usually usually working yeah the most issues you will experience in the lower layers Upper layers, of course, there are issues as well. Yeah, but see, if you plug together your machines and so on, and something isn't working, it's usually somewhere in layer zero, uh, zero, one, two, three. Layer zero would be me. <laughs> There's always an issue. Huh? Always. <laughs> this is why this series of networks uh, will end here. Yeah. Done talking about networks. Yeah. So, 
The only thing left for me is say thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.